Hey guys, and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we'd really appreciate it if you would. Today we're going to take a look at this Lego train table and how I put it together. This is really only the first phase because I wanted to get the top and the edges done, get the base plates on here, get them all connected, and get the track laid out and tested. Let's take a look. This will give you a good idea of how the tabletop's going to be. Um, we've got 10 of these light gray plates, 6 of the green plates, and then we've got one single dark gray plate that's a half width so that they end up meeting lengthwise to be the same overall. We had the tabletop cut just a little bit larger than needed so that we were sure this will sit down so you can see there's a little bit of gap. But once we put the trim on here so that things can't roll off the table, that'll sit down nicely. Um, it's 40 and a half inches deep by 75 and 5 8 inches wide. This is MDF. Um, we're going to go ahead and paint that with kills so that it won't absorb anything. But uh, we went with MDF just because it's going to be the most flat by far of any sheet wood. So you can see we got both sides painted and all that's dry. I've got this uh, cheap pine, uh, it's white pine that we're using for the trim, and I did 45s on all the corners. I've got two corner clamps, so I use those to hold it together on the front, and I've got these much longer clamps uh, just to hold it together on the back. I just really wanted to dry fit, make sure all these edges and corners were going to look pretty good at the end. You won't actually see pretty much any of this white surface once the plates are on there, but you can see it all turned out pretty good. We'll get uh, these painted or stained, and then we're going to use some 18 gauge brad nails to hold it all on. So I've already made a little running change. Um, I did try a gray stain, and I didn't like how that's turning out, so I went with a gray paint. And I think that's going to turn out nicely. But I uh, decided I do want to round this edge with my new trim router. So we're going to go ahead and do the paint on the inside and on the bottom. We'll put it together, and then we'll do the, um, the routing and then paint the outside as well.
So this is going to be the base to the top of our table. This is a metal outdoor table and I do have the legs for it. It's very sturdy and it came with uh, that fake decking material wood here in the top, bright red. I took all that out and then I've cut some two by twos and some one by fours in order to kind of fill it in so that when we set the top on top of this, it exceeds it in every direction that that'll give it a lot of strength and something to screw down into. And then this will keep it from sagging in the middle as well. Of course, you could make yours, you know, with custom legs. You can actually order pretty nice legs online as well. But if you're going to use MDF, you want to have some amount of structure, you know, like some verticals going along under it, like you see on a traditional kitchen table, so that it doesn't sag in the middle. Otherwise, you might have some problems. <laughs> So while the trim's attached now, uh, I'm sure you saw that I decided to go ahead and glue it as well, which painting both of these surfaces and then using glue is probably not the best plan, but I just decided just brad nails alone was not going to be enough uh, for my liking. Um, I did around the top edge and the corners with the router, uh, did chew it up a little bit because this is really soft wood, but this is certainly not supposed to be a fine piece of furniture, um, otherwise obviously you'd want to use a harder wood. The MDF and the uh, white. Uh, pine are neither one perfect so I didn't expect perfect results did only have one blow through with the brad nailer so I'm going to get that cleaned up and then we're going to start painting the trim but overall I'm really happy with it and I think it's going to more than suffice for my purposes
fairly happy with how this turned out, but there's a lot more to do. I do want to get this very decorated and get a lot of buildings and other things set up. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have anything you want to add that I didn't include, please put that in the comments as well. I'm always glad to learn something new. Thanks!